All right, so Wifey Sauce and I have been moved into the new house for about a month now, I wanna say, which is crazy. And I think the original house tour that I showed you guys was even before that. It might've been six, seven weeks ago. And since then, I've been giving you guys updates in our vlogs, documenting the sort of progress on the house. But now that we're really settled in, I wanted to give you guys sort of a house tour 2.0 to show you guys what the current status is of Bitwit HQ. So that's what we're doing today. Very simple. Let's go ahead and start in the living room. So this is the, the main living room. This is what we're calling the living room. It's sort of at the back of the house. It's the largest room in the house by far, and you can see it's still kind of in shambles. If you guys recall from the original house tour, this is getting renovated. You remember, this is the one with the really low ceiling. It's got tons of water damage because it wasn't built properly. Like, this is only like three or four inches above my head. It's really bad. So we're, we're still planning to, to rip all this out and just continue this ceiling line all the way through to that wall. And some of you guys are gonna hate us for this, but we're also gonna drywall up all the wood so you don't see the wood. It's just gonna be clean white walls, still keeping the pitch ceiling. But the reason why we're drywalling it so we can put wiring behind it for like recessed lighting, maybe integrated speakers, and maybe even some ventilation because right now there's no cooling or heat in this room because it's all an add-on if you remember. And without any vents in this part of the house, it's gonna get really hot in this room in the summer. It'll be painful. So it's kind of a ticking time bomb. However, the contractor that we're going with, who's actually a family friend who does great work, isn't available till July. So we might have to suffer through it anyway, but it's it's gonna be worth it if you know it's a contractor we trust and he's got a good deal and stuff like that. Now the one caveat is that we're still gonna have sort of a lower ceiling, but just in the middle, just like there'll be a support beam. Because you can see here, I actually opened up a piece of drywall so I could take a closer look. You guys can't really see well from here, but there's actually a beam, a pretty tall beam that's right here. And it goes across from wall to wall. Now there's obviously certain requirements for how large your beam has to be based on how much weight it's trying to support, but you can sort of work with the dimensions there. So instead of having a really tall and skinny beam, you could have a really wide, short beam. So if we did it that way, we'd be able to elevate the beam quite a bit higher and give us additional headroom so it's a bit more comfortable. Now, as far as the layout of the room goes, Wifey Sauce and I both agree that this room is just too big to have only a couch and TV. Like it's just gonna look ridiculous. So we have to fill it up with more stuff, which is why we've decided instead of having the main dining table in, well, the dining room, which is right there, the dining area, we're gonna have a smaller like round circle table there with maybe like four chairs, just kind of like casual. And then the main dining table, which is gonna be like sort of a longer rectangle table is gonna be right here with like eight chairs. That'll sort of break up this large room into two halves. We're also debating on which wall the TV should go on. Should the TV go on this wall? or that wall. This is facing north right here. I'm actually team north. And right now, Wifey Sauce is kind of leaning team south. And I'll give you our rationale right here. So I'm standing in the dining room right now, right? There's a kitchen, there's a living room. When you walk in, your natural inclination is to sort of look to the right, because that's where most of the stuff is. It kind of just has a natural flow to go this way. But Wifey thinks the TV might be better here because if the couch is further back towards this way, you're not as distracted by what might be going on in the dining room over there or in the family room at the front. She kind of feels like the energy is better when you're sitting in this corner of the room. I kind of agree with her only for the fact that whoever's sitting at the dining table can also watch TV. It's a bit more inclusive in that sense, and I, I, I get that, but ultimately I think I think the TV might be better over there. I don't know, what do you guys think? So that's what's going on with the living room. We basically don't spend any time in here because we're just waiting for July to get it to where we want it to be. Right now it's just again for storage and it's it's, it's kind of a kind of a nightmare. Uh, more on that later. We've got the dining room right here, completely empty, also not being used. We don't have many guests right now because we have nowhere to sit them. Kitchen is looking good, pretty much up to speed for now. We still need to get some appliances in here like washer and dryer, which would go at the back there. That's where the hookups are. Those are coming soon though. They're gonna be pretty swanky as well. So. I might actually do a video on them. Uh, stay tuned for that. The longer we live here, the more we love this kitchen because it's the center of the house. You can kind of just see all around you. It's a very nice spot to be. And we love the sort of C-shaped layout so that when you're in the middle of it, you kind of are equidistant from all the things you need to reach. It's like a cool little command center. The backyard is pretty much unchanged. We're, we're gonna wait to, to fix up the inside of the house a little bit more before we worry about the back. Moving on to the hallway. Okay, let's, let's go down here. So we've got the guest bathroom, if you guys remember, which is still, a wreck? Oh, a beer bottle. Is there any beer in there? No, I don't think so. So we're just now starting to make plans for renovating the, the bathroom. We're gonna do it a piece at a time though. Right now we're just gonna do the, the tile for the bathtub. It's gonna go all the way up to the ceiling. We have the tile picked out and everything. We actually still have to order it this week. And then we're gonna have the same contractor who's doing our living room do this. And since the bathroom's a much smaller project than the living room, he'll be able to push that up a lot sooner. We might actually get this done in the next month or two. We're probably also gonna get a new window because this one's really old. And it just makes sense that if we're gonna change all the tile here, 
we might as well do the window at the same time so it doesn't look like a room from one of the Saw movies. Uh, we did paint in here, so all this is fresh paint, but the tile's original. It's not our favorite in terms of style, but it's perfectly good tile. We're gonna keep it in here for a while before we uh, start looking at options. Shooting room, you guys are probably most familiar with this room because it's in almost all the videos. Uh, the set is looking pretty good. It's, it's practically done. I did add that bottom layer of acoustic foam, mostly for aesthetics, not really effective because I'm facing this way. So you can see I had some leftover panels that I just put right there. I actually need to fill this up more, maybe go all the way around the window or something like that. It might not look the best, but it's really just for sound dampening in here because there is still quite a bit of echo. And this wall is probably the most important to actually sound deaden because it's directly across from where my voice is traveling. Overall though, I'm really loving working here. It's, it's nice to be working from home again. It's just super convenient and everything's in one place. But let's move on to the office. Office, office, office. So you guys probably already saw this more recently in a vlog as well when we uh, built these very fine cabinets. So our workstations are doing just fine, although I am replacing mine, as you guys probably saw in a very recent video. But this little corner here is the test bench area. That's where I'm gonna be doing most of my benchmarking. I'm planning to install maybe a couple shelves for additional tools and hardware and things like that. So it's not the biggest desk in the world, but certainly large enough for like a single test bench here. We also have our router and modem, which reminds me, I'm probably gonna be doing sort of like an internet video, like trying to run ethernet throughout the house, which is, I don't know, I have no idea. I haven't poked my head really up in the attic yet, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna find up there or how far I'll be able to get. But right now the Wi-Fi here is a little spotty because we have a larger house and our router is currently wedged into the deepest corner of the home. So I actually might be doing a Wi-Fi upgrade video as well where I swap this router out for like an AI mesh network uh, and just see how that works in the home. Uh, that's pretty much all that's going on here. Oh, the other thing is that there's a lot of empty space right here. Don't mind that weird wagon that Wi-Fi saws bought, but we might actually put like a couch or futon here that pulls out to a bed so that if we have family members or friends who want to crash here for the night or for the weekend, we can kind of turn this into sort of like a makeshift guest room. And as a bonus, if guests are sitting on the couch, they can, you know, watch Netflix or whatever on, on Wifey Sauce's system. And hopefully not browse through any of our files. We'll have to create a guest login. All right, and then finally, our bedroom. This is the last room of the house. Hi, Wifey. No, get out. Why? It looks fine. It looks good in here. The cats are in here. Why do they get elevated privileges that I don't? Because they're cute and they're not. They have the camera. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's raw. Look at her. She's so cute. Poke. Ow. But yeah, the bedroom just needs a little TLC. Like the, the closets are still, we're still using these racks just temporarily. Eventually we want to save up for like a nice custom cabinet, but that's way down the line. This will do for now. We also need some new furniture, like maybe a, a cabinet that's at least as wide as the TV. It looks kind of funny right now. I'm eventually going to wall mount the TV as well once we get that piece of furniture and that'll be a whole dedicated video on a little mini entertainment center for the bedroom. As far as the bathroom goes, it's still... Super tiny. Oh yeah, this is the tiniest, cutest master bath ever. Got a new shower curtain from Target, got a new plant. Actually, the plant was originally in the kitchen, but the cats kept eating it and throwing up because of eating it, so now it's on the toilet. It's freshly painted, all the cabinets and the walls are super, super nice, but uh, the tile on the counter and the floor is still original. We're gonna fix that up way down the line because it's master bath. Only wifey and I have to endure it, so. Um, that's pretty much it for the new house. Oh! Oh, the garage. In the original house tour, the garage was just an empty box, but now it's filled with a bunch of crap. Most of it's trash, but that's also where we keep most of our tech goodies, which I think you guys will appreciate. So let's check it out. So this is the left half of the garage, which definitely needs to be dealt with at some point, but just looking at it right now gives me anxiety. So let's look this way. This is much more pleasant. Here we've got the vast majority of our products just chilling, and we have our, our trusty Doom guy watching over all of the hardware. Uh, no, we also have like security systems all throughout the house, in and out and stuff too. But uh, yeah, we actually have some, we actually have some space because after the move, I cleared out all of the empty boxes. We have these two large boxes of other boxes of just all kinds of hardware that were just taking up tons of space. So it's much more organized now and we have a bit more breathing room for new products coming in. The other huge advantage now of having it in here as opposed to up against the wall like it was at our last place is that we have two sides. We have easy access to products on both sides. So for example, I've got like, you know, all the Intel motherboards on this side, AMD on the other side. Same with the GPUs. We've got Nvidia over here and AMD's on the other side. AMD, you're looking a little, looking a little slim over there. Some tough times for your graphics team right now, I know. We've got our solid state stash and tons of memory so we never forget. The CPU shelf is the one I think could use the most improvement. Um, it's just a little disorganized still. I don't really have a great way to, to store all these other than their little clamshells in these uh, fun engineering sample boxes. If you guys are wondering what PC component takes up the most space for storage, besides a case, it's AIOs. AIO boxes are just getting bigger and bigger, especially with the growing popularity of 360 rads. Oh, 
Oh, we have an H115i in the box? I didn't know we had a spare one. Ooh, nice. I will have my way with you later, sir. And of course, cases. The bane of my existence. We actually got rid of a ton of cases before the big move. I think we gave away like 25 cases to, to random fans. It was awesome. So thank you guys for helping take those off our hands. These are the few that we're left with. There's also probably a few in the house. We don't have a ton more room for new cases coming in. So we have to be very selective with which cases we decide to review and things like that. If you guys recall, all of the shelving was already here before we got the keys to the house. So it's actually come in handy as you can see. So yeah, that's what's good up in the hood, y'all. And um, wifey sauce and I couldn't be happier. We're really Really happy with the direction that the house has been headed and the sort of renovations that we've been making. But you know, there's still a long way to go. This is gonna be a multi-year project because we're not trying to flip this house. This is our, ideally, our forever home. And so we're, uh, we're definitely gonna try to take our time with it. But you guys feel free to let us know what your thoughts are so far. And uh, feel free to toss a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Get subscribed for more tech stuff coming at you really soon. And I will see you guys in the next video. Pew!